Hello, and welcome to Pokemon TCG Daily Booster Pack 129. Fellow trainers, I hope you're having a fantastic Thursday wherever you are. Today we're opening up another Forbidden Light Sun and Moon Booster Pack, so let's go ahead and get started into this. But in case if you're new to my channel, I've been opening up one Pokemon Booster Pack every single day now for over a hundred days straight without, without missing a single day. And with each and every single video, I like to try to give away two to three QR codes for the only game. And all you have to do to receive a code from me, for me personally, potentially, is like this video, subscribe if you're brand new, and answer the unique, my unique Pokemon question of the day that I include at the end of every single video. We have another green code, so probably nothing amazing, but like I said, I'm still hoping to pull supporters supporters, item cards, and other fun Pokemon from this expansion. Uh, if you, in case you really new to my channel, normally I mix up booster packs, but whenever a new expansion hits, I typically will just open that expansion up anywhere from a week to two weeks out and maybe try to get an Elite Trainer box or something like that in the near future. But let's go ahead and get started into this. Like I said, they, there are a lot of Pokemon from this expansion that I want and cards I want as well, so let's go ahead and see what we got. We kick things off with a very, very vibrant water-looking energy. If you've been watching my daily matches, I am one of my favorite decks right now is an Empoleon deck. Uh, we follow things up with the Ultra Beast. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm going to uh, pronounce this horribly, but I'm going to go with po uh, Poi Pole, I think, but we got an Ultra Beast. Uh, next, we follow things up with a Halucha. That's really, really fun. His cards have been super, super consistent in the TCG game. And like I said, we get something really, really cool here. We get a unit energy. I'll be interested to see how they combine other. Um, I think they have all the uh, different types of energy now in unit energy, but if they like mix them up, maybe we'll do Fighting Dark and Electric or something... Uh, you know, just really random ones. Next, we follow things up with another Finnegan. Uh, I got one of these yesterday as well, so that's awesome. We follow things up with a Lit Leo. I, I'm, you know, I think I might just have to do Fire. What's your favorite Fire type Pokemon for this question today? Today, uh, next we have a Fur Fro. That's pretty uh, cool looking, and we have an Inke. I've got definitely got plenty of Inkes if I want to try to form a uh, Malamar Necrozma deck. Uh, next, we have a Magnemite. This could actually be uh, useful for a lot of decks. I'm using the Steel type ones from Ultra Prism. Uh, but we have a Reverse Hollow Halucha, and last but not least we have a Klotzer. So nothing uh, nothing amazing, but that will bring me to today's question of the day. I've seen a lot of Fire-type Pokemon in here in the past couple days, so let me know what your favorite Fire-type Pokemon is from any of the generations. It is actually, Fire-type fire cards are very relevant in, in the meta, so we got uh, Volcanion and Ho-Oh GX are the two that come to mind. I know there's been more in the past before, so uh, yeah, let me know how you, also how your polls and stuff are going, what decks you're working on. Um, in addition to this question of the day, you know, you, you're always welcome to share what other uh, Pokemon, uh, video game, trading card games, or whatever uh, you're, uh, it's going on in your life Pokemon related. So I'd love to hear all of that down in the comments below. But as always, this has been Pokemon TCG Daily. Don't forget to hit that like button. And fellow trainers, I will see you tomorrow as always.